All right, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. It is now Wednesday, June 12th, 2019, and we are in Trumansburg, New York, in the Finger Lakes. We're taking a walk in the woods, in Smith Woods. Now, is this the only piece of old growth left in the Finger Lakes, you said? That's what they say. This is the Very one. Few and far between. How many acres of old growth do we have in? This is this 36 acres? I think it is. So 36 acres of old growth in the Finger Lakes region of New York. I guess we should be glad that 36 acres remained. Pretty gorgeous. And all these old beaches are diseased. So all the old beaches are diseased. So point out what you were talking it's a about. Fungus that causes these whelp-like things. Eventually, it causes the whole trunk to... And the woodpeckers it, spread it on their feet? The woodpeckers spread it with their bills from going tree to tree. So, the result. There you go. <laughs> Killer woodpeckers. The hardest part is trying to see the tops. <laughs> So, my cottonwood tree, just to give you some idea, is not a whole lot taller than this tree, uh -huh. but is eight times the trunk girth. You know that might be a cherry, black cherry. This big boy is a black cherry. This one right here. I had no idea that cherry trees got that size. Good Lord. You remember the two black cherries on the musk and Exxon at the dam? Yeah. There were some big ones. So this is when they think they think this tree was born in 1860. More or less. Says you need to be on a leash, Sancho. Come here. All right. I think on a Wednesday we're. Here. Come here. Not one other person in this forest on this spectacularly gorgeous day. So what is this one? It doesn't say, but it's a maple. Probably a rock maple. Yeah, at least you won't have to worry about him. Hey, there's a squirrel! Lancho! <laughs> see a squirrel yeah. right there. Surprised he missed it. Isn't it interesting how as soon as you get in here, like it still feels like it gets quiet. Yeah. Oh, well, so when you go into the those redwood forests, I've got to get basil out to the redwoods. Have you been you've been to the redwoods? Yep. Really? I've been to Mere Woods, I've been to Sequoia National. Okay. Yeah, Basil has never seen a redwood tree, and I'm, there's just no way to describe it to someone who's never been in one of those forests. Now, this is a big boy. What is That's a rock maple. maple. That's another maple. Rock maple. My dog is gone into the Smith Woods. <coughs> there he is. He heard that chipmunk. Mm. Hmm. So there's like no conifers in here at all. Oh yeah, there's hemlocks. There are hemlocks? It depends on where you are. Oh yeah, I see one through there. There's one here. Yeah, okay. There's a hole like on the south western corner where it's a lot wetter and steeper. It's covered yeah. in covers. There's actually a uh, species of magnolia. Yankee magnolias. Uh -huh. <coughs> Sancho! 
I just saw the same thing. <laughs> what is it? It's in the pulpit. Jackin, is it blooming? Yeah. Where at? Right here. I have not seen a jack in the pulpit blooming and just about done. Yep. There you go. All right. Man, we used to have these in my yard in Atlanta. Yeah, there's a lot of them around here. That one's all dried up. Yep. Not as frilly as this. So the trilliums are bloomed out. Yep. Now see, these are the same wildflowers that I had growing up in Atlanta. It's weird. I know they're squirrelies. You got to go get the squirrelies like that. So I hear one bird singing. Is that normal? Oh, they're in here. It's not a good time of day, probably at noon. So that's that's the robin's territorial sound that they make during their breeding season. Look at the spoons of that thing was 20 feet up off the ground. The big knot. That's a raishi shell fungus. Raishi shell fungus. Is that going to kill the tree? Looks like it already has, maybe. It's already dead, but he's got a funky knot on him. It's living. It's still alive? It's well, the shell fungus won't kill the plant. It actually, when it grows on birch, it's actually symbiotic. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Sancho! A little dog. Well, they put a fence around the whole thing, so I guess. Yeah, but that fence ain't gonna keep your dog in. Uh, well, here's one that's uh, fresh bloom. Oh, cool. You want a fresh bloom, sir? The jack and the ball, but a new one. He ain't dry enough. All right. There we go. He hadn't even turned purple yet. Nope. There we go. Jack in the pulpit. Pretty cool. Sancho! Man. I hear chippies. Now he's starting to lean. I hope it he's. Several, uh, I think it was a hurricane back in the 70s that knocked quite a few things down. Yeah, there's probably another one of them coming. Oh, no doubt. That's a shag mark. Hickory that fell. It's amazing how much these woods look like the woods in Atlanta. Yep. If you just yeah, if you just drop me in here in the middle, I would. How think, far away are you from the Appalachian? Well, Atlanta is called the Piedmont, which oh. literally means the foothills. Okay. Uh, some people would say Atlanta is the very southern terminus of the Appalachians. Mm -hmm. Most people argue that was the, the Ozarks. I thought that was a whole different mountain range. I that was in the, like Arkansas. Yeah, that's in Arkansas. Well, you know, there's a dozen, there's dozens of different mountain chains that make up the Appalachian uh, spine. The only one that I know that is distinctly different geologically are the Adirondacks. So this is a bit, do they have the biggest tree in the whole forest? Is it one of these two? I've seen it and I had the girls and I, three of us couldn't wrap our arms around it. See, this is about half the girth of my cotton really? wave. That's amazing. Yeah. This has got to be one. Uh, no, no, the, the cotton wood is much bigger. It's about the same height, I would say. It's probably a hell of a lot more dense. Blue cohosh. Blue. Blue cohosh. 
blue cohosh. All right, he's got him a chippy, I can tell. Yeah. They leave the uh, tree, tree cut so you can count the ring. I wonder why he fell over. It didn't look. That was a hemlock. Yeah. Now, is that hemlock disease That's this far north? Yep. Yeah. So this could have been taken out by that. Oh, you know what I'm seeing? Flower petals from the tulip pop up. Yep. That's probably what these are. Love it. I'll tell you one thing, when you come out here, your neck starts hurting. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. When you when you're out there in those redwoods, you're you're, <laughs> you're doing this. This might be one of the biggest for hours. So what do you think the little blue flags? You said while well, the kids come out of here to have hours. glasses. Ah. Uh, and they used to have like a maybe like a little wigwam. And some guy lived here for years and years. Homeless guy. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, he's got him a chippy. U.S. Geological Survey, Atmospheric Mercury Study Site. Mercury Atmospheric Study? Atmospheric Mercury. Mercury from the air that is naturally trapped in the forest canopy will be measured in samples. What? That fall into this tray for two to three months. Atmospheric mercury. There, there's, you know, this one you think you've heard it all. I thought mercury was water and land. I guess it's everywhere. Anywhere you burn coal, there's mercury. I'm sure they're looking to. I thought mercury the was funding for it. Was liquid. It is, but it, it can be atomized. When you burn coal, it gasifies, and it's one of the first things that drops out. Oh, really? The so mercury poisoning is usually within 30, 40 miles of coal burning plants. Huh. One more reason not to live near a coal burning <laughs> plant. Must have been where some tree fell and opened up enough light. Yep. And then the. No. That looks like a path down here. I, but it looks like the path picks up right here. Where'd you get the chippy? Did you get that chippy or not? Well, it's a little soggy down here, guys. All right, it is one gorgeous day. I'm gonna shut this off because my arm is getting tired of carrying this camera. But man, if you're ever in Trumansburg, New York, this is one gorgeous spot. And there's ice cream right across the street and a cemetery. You got old growth forest, a cemetery, and an ice cream stand on the same block. 